G'day viewers, talking with Jez again. And uh, this one might provide a few laughs. Uh, uh, Jez wants to share a bit of her experience uh, and we'll title this video, Things to Never Say to a Sex Worker. Get it all the time. As soon <laughs> as we raise this, it's just like, Jez go, I've got a, have you got a spare hour? Let's go. So yeah, without <laughs> further ado, Jez wanted to put a disclaimer in that this is just her opinion, but we're all about opinion here, so that's not a bad thing. Yeah, right. But um, things you should never say. Uh, don't offer to rescue me from the industry. I don't want rescuing, and most people in the industry do not want rescuing. We don't want a saviour. We want laws, we want rights, and we want, you know, workplace things that can make our life easier, you know, that sort of thing. We don't want rescuing, we don't want a knight in shiny armour on a fucking horse riding in to go, oh, I'll save you from this work because I actually like my job. And the majority of people in the industry, they wouldn't be doing it if they didn't like it because it's, you know, fairly flexible, easy, you know, that sort of thing. That's why we do it. So, it just, it bothers me when people ask me that, like, so many times. So that, that's obviously someone who's actually like come into the broth hall. Someone who's says a client. That. Someone who's a client. I get asked, uh, I don't know, at least once a week, and it drives me fucking nuts. <laughs> o outside of the rescuing thing, what's the most common thing? Some of the most common things non-clients say to you. Uh, so if you're a sex worker, does that mean you do drugs? And that's one of the things that really bothers me because uh, these are coming from people that I know that I've been acquaintances with or friends with and they know that I'm pretty much like straight 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 edge like I don't do drugs I don't smoke and I don't drink and it bothers me that people would ask me that just because they now know that I'm a sex worker and I'm just like I, I don't want to be asked that like I don't do drugs so I've I don't even drink like I've had I've been drunk maybe twice in my life and I'm 22 and we live in like a drinking culture where like everyone in Australia goes out to get drunk and I don't do that and so it just bothers me that people would ask me that. And a lot of girls that I know have been asked the same question. And they're the same as me. Like, they're, they're in it for the money. <laughs> we were talking about a tag that was used on Twitter recently. Shit punters say. Uh, what, <laughs> and you have a few on that front. Uh, shit punters say that was definitely the first one that I was talking about that they want to rescue me. Um, also, will you suck me without a condom? Uh, it's illegal in Victoria to do any sort of natural service. So I literally, like, whenever I get asked that, I'm just like, gonorrhea, syphilis, chlamydia, which one would you like? <laughs> so if they're going to ask me that, I'm going to give them a stupid fucking answer. <laughs> and that's one of the things that I find a bit confusing for the punters. One of the reasons uh, sex work can be legal in Victoria is because of the regulation of it mm -hmm. and it's the whole no bareback rule and it's like sure if you find a sex worker who will surely she said yes to other people as well i just want to think about how many loads she swallowed in one day yeah. or, you know how many did she take in a certain certain week like i'm i'm perfectly if a girl wants to offer that service sure go ahead i don't like being asked that question yeah it's like if i had advertised yes i do bareback blowjobs or BBBJ, fine, you can ask me that. But since I don't advertise it, I don't do it. Yeah. And I don't say, like, when I go in and introduce myself at Brothel, I say, uh, this is my service, and if they ask me, do you do na uh, natural oral, I'm just like, mm, no. Mm. I, I would rather not be asked that question. And technically, it's actually illegal to ask for it. Well, yeah, as you say, that's illegal. And I've heard so many stories about punters getting angry at being told no. I was going like, Surely I've, you should be happy. I've had people argue with me for literally, like even with kissing, for example. I don't kiss. I don't enjoy it. I don't offer it. I just don't enjoy it. I've had people argue with me mm. over natural oral and kissing. I'm just like, why don't, they're like, why don't you offer it? I'm just like, uh, because I don't want to. And it just doesn't compute in their head that I don't want to offer a specific service for any amount of money. So they'll, they'll even continue, oh, $50, $70. And I'm just like, no, no, sorry. Not in my service. Oh dear. I, one of the questions that comes out most that I've seen in various forums, people talking, uh, is the accusation, assertion that if you're doing sex work, something must be wrong. 
there must be something wrong with you. Something bad must have happened. They've never been molested, never been raped, never done drugs. Don't have an alcohol problem, so I don't really think that there is a problem. Although I am a little bit socially awkward. I think that's about the only thing that I can come up with. Yeah, as, at least, as I said, when, when there's a legal framework, it, it doesn't stop being socially awkward, I can imagine. But at least, <laughs> as opposed to where it's illegal, it's like a jailable offence and you can lose everything in your life uh, if you get out of... And I suppose it's weird, because it's, it's been, there's been the legal framework here for a while. Mm. And I realise places like you know the US and all around the world where it's illegal in any form except for extremely isolated circumstances in some jurisdictions like the farms they have in Nevada outside of Vegas, yep. uh, which uh, there's a loophole that makes them legal. I am not familiar with the laws in the US, I'm familiar with the laws in Australia, so I can't really tell you about yeah. but Nevada. I, <laughs> I, I just sort of look at it and go, uh, it's work and you can have problems with it. I, I don't say everyone should be a wholehearted supporter or you know, the old, oh, do you want your family to do sex work? I like people who make choices to have the right to make choices and be safe in those choices. Exactly. I had someone um, who asked me to shut the fuck up and stop complaining about how I was being treated. Because I had a few people say some fucking horrible things, like nasty, nasty things that just, I don't know why they said it. But I don't have a problem if you do not personally like sex work or you don't want to participate in sex work, or you don't want to see a sex worker. That's your prerogative. It's not mine. Okay, my prerogative is to be a sex worker, and it's not really... You don't have a choice in that. It's me. Yeah. And, and I have to admit, in all the anti-sex work arguments I've heard, unless someone's just honest and go, ooh, sex, it's squicky, I don't, I don't want women ooh. to have that sort of control. That's at least honest. It's still a bit weird that you're so squicky about sex, but at least that's honest. But every other argument I've ever heard, the argument is as valid if you take the word sex out of the sentence. Like, some women feel trapped in sex work. Well, some women feel trapped no matter what job they're in. Some men feel trapped in sex work. Some men feel trapped in non-sex work, yeah. Uh, some sex workers are exploited. Yep, some workers are exploited. Uh, some sex workers are trafficked. Some workers are trafficked. You look at the construction industry, the domestic service industry, the um, uh, food and beverage industry around the world. There are trafficked workers in illegal conditions. In all, and it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. It's fucking wrong, guys. You know, and oh, some sex workers are abused by their bosses. Yes, some workers are abused by their bosses. There are, I've seen it. Mm. I've seen it. It happens, and it's fucking wrong. Like, I swear a lot, Casino. Um, but it is wrong. I have seen it. My friend, for instance, has a celiac and a heart problem. And we told the boss when we came into it that she can't do booking after booking after booking. And I won't name the place, but um, the boss is an asshole, straight up. Uh, he was basically uh, making her feel bad because she was feeling unwell and couldn't continue. Uh, and I think that's really wrong. Like, we have the choice to say yes or no to a booking. We can say no to an intro as well. That's just how it works. They can't force us to do anything. And that's what made me so angry, is, is, isn't it? No time for that stuff. Yeah. I, I work in places where I have the choice of what I do with my body. For instance, I don't see people who are drunk. Can't do it. Other, girl, other ladies can do it. I can't do it. Um, and I also don't see people who don't speak English, simply because I am very bad at conveying you know, body language, for instance. I can't, I can't do it. And I've just had so many problems with it because I can't tell them what I want with just body language. I can't do it. So I've just decided, you know, it's, it's not for me. Mm. So. so yes, so you know, arsehole bosses exist everywhere. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've had them in fast food before and retail and sex work, so it's literally everywhere. Yeah, okay, look, those are some of the more common questions. Uh, as I said before, if there are questions you'd like Jez to answer and they're interesting, we'll convince Jez to come back and answer some of the questions which ought to be fun. Uh, and of course, Jesse's going to see your comments as well. Uh, the ones I don't delete. If you're an asshole, I'm going to delete you. Uh, and that's my choice, not Jesse's. Jesse's is way tougher than me, okay? I just don't like horrible people and I don't like giving him the light of day. So if I choose to 
think you're being a dickhead, I'll drop kick you. Okay? And that's me, not Jez. Okay? <laughs> Jez thinks it's funny if you waste your time doing stuff like that. Feel free to send your hate comments to my Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. If you want to ask Jez questions in person, um, this would be a twiddling down here. Uh, and uh, we've got way more to talk about, so you'll see some more videos coming up. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to ask us questions, and we'll see you again.